A rising tide may lift all boats, but projections <clears throat> show tides along the first coast are going to rise and keep rising. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers projects sea levels could increase by up to seven feet by the end of the century at Naval Station Mayport. It's a future that could imperil the first coast military operations, not to mention the region's economy. As On Your Side's Troy Kless reports tonight, scientists and environmental experts are all taking an hands on deck approach, all hands on deck approach to protect the Naval Station from rising seas. At Naval Station Mayport, the tide is turning. We have basically 100 years of record associated with this tide gauge. Eric J. Olson is a coastal engineer who's been collecting data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's tidal gauge at Naval Station Mayport. What this tells us is that, yes, indeed, something is happening different. A tidal gauge that has been here at Naval Station Mayport shows that waters have risen on average about one foot per the past century, but data within the past 20 years shows more troubling story. If you look at the last 15 years, you get 2.6 feet per century. If you look at the last 10 years of data, you get something in the magnitude of 3.7 feet of sea level rise per century. Mayport is located in one of the most at risk parts of Florida's coast, with projections showing the Naval Station could lose more than half its current land to new tidal zones. One possible defense against the rising tide, fortifying the dune system. Heather Hahn, natural resources manager at Mayport, has planted 7,000 sea oats across seven acres of beach to keep the dunes healthy, but beach erosion has been aggravated by hurricanes. So after Matthew, it was estimated that I lost about 10,000 cubic yards of sand. Um, it's a lot of sand, <laughs> but it wasn't enough to be considered critical. The Department of Defense has been tight lipped about the impact of flooding on existing installations and how it might impact their long term viability. An executive order from the White House says DOD has to submit a climate risk analysis plan by the end of May. But rising seas are just one of many climate challenges facing the U.S. military and keeping Mayport's operations online will require literally holding back the tide. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.